Good evening, good evening, my family, good evening to all the viewers, the producers, and everybody in the VOS. And we now they watch we every day. I tell you good evening and I welcome you to the show. Um, last week we talked about diabetes, where we don't celebrate World Diabetes Day. And if I can recap quickly, what we talked about last week was what to do with the commemorate World Diabetes Day. And I've been talking about World Diabetes Day, like the day where over 160 countries they celebrate or commemorate diabetes, and then a way of raising awareness for the people that all over the world know say Diabetes Day, and for the people that know waiting for do if they're very sick and waiting for do for me, they're not very sick. And if they're very sick, how they for manage them. So now that we talk about last week, and we talk say. And the theme for last year will be 2018, and the theme for this year, 2019, we don't go now, will be the family and diabetes. And we think International Diabetes Federation be safe. It be on uh, three uh, focus areas. One, uh, early detection. Two, uh, management. And the third one, uh, be prevention. We are going to talk for the people that are mass alone every day or every day we they present. If you were in a street, so they talk to people there about diabetes. Now, for me, we tell and say diabetes, here yeah, the family, if you and the family get together, you get diabetes, your family will be able to help you. We are going International Diabetes Federation say one early detection. If you're sick, sick, or if they will not, you know, do you, you and your family can go and go do a screening for them to know what on a diabetes status, so I will take appropriate action. Practice healthy living lifestyles, healthy eating, moderate exercise, and your family will help you back for letting you manage them. Because if you the mommy and you get diabetes, the papa will try to provide food for you. When you go eat, we will make the sick no more than you. Same one, if you not the pa, get some, the mommy, the papa will nice food. We will make you not go able for forget the sick and more than you. Then if you no not no get a piki no get type one, mama no get type two, pick, uh, papa self no get type two, what thing will happen when I go continue for practice healthy eating, we go make when I go get this sick. So, it like when I hold, when I know say when I teach you a piki for practice healthy eating, it go able for live a better, a healthier life. Now, look when they go to schools, then they go raise the same awareness to them. When I lots of schools, now the Western area will they travel for engage the, the, the East, for learning self this education. So today we will talk about World AIDS Day. We don't pass it at the um, and Sunday. When I now wonder why make I talk about AIDS, when we they talk about non-communicable disease. Non-communicable disease are diseases that will not transmit to the next person. But today we talk about AIDS and AIDS in a sick way they transfer to other people or it they transmit to other people. So I go to wonder why are they do this? Are they do this because people that will get AIDS, then they at risk for get type two diabetes. Even picking them, if they born them with AIDS, they will go back and get AIDS. If born in picking, tell them see they say that picking they will get type one diabetes. So now that makes they will say that we just love much small pan diabetes and HIV and AIDS. Okay, what do you bring this topic in? HIV, AIDS, na sequel you get through uh, blood contact, through sex. So, what do you can talk about that? They can say, people that where they, where they get HIV, AIDS, then they take medication. Their medication, they are willing to take. Some day they make them, they get diabetes. So, now they could say, if you get diabetes, not so far say you go get AIDS. But if you get AIDS, because of the medication where you take, the medicine when they give you, go make you go develop diabetes. So now that we want to talk to people then today, so if you get AIDS, not so just for they go take your medicine, not for them uh, um, test you, screen you, so that you go know if you get that diabetes, they get added to the AIDS, where we not really want the people to get that because all two and sick way go and bug you bad, bad one. So now that make what they say, let me just raise the small awareness, say, people that will get um, HIV AIDS, they get tendency for develop type 2 diabetes. Same one, people where they're born, will get type 1 diabetes. 
he go we get um HIV, he go get NSC for develop type 1 diabetes. Okay. What do we say so? All the time they talk about diabetes, so they talk say type 1 picking, they will not know what they cause them for get diabetes. But study don't show say picking away suffer a massive infection with a small that they can kill all the B cells within the body, that are the, the insulin producing cells where they get that in pancreas. So if the kid doesn't suffer massive infection when he's small, so then a HIV he gets or other infectious diseases he don't get, in B cells that they destroy, then in pancreas that they produce insulin at all. What did they happen? They don't get type 1 diabetes straight away. What's in a type 1 diabetes? Type 1 diabetes, the diabetes where they catch between them, where the pancreas where they produce insulin at all. So they therefore live on insulin for the rest of their life because if they don't take insulin, they will die. They will, do, they will go into a, a, a state where they call ketoacidosis state, where their body not get insulin, their body they feel on the proteins and the fats within their body. The ketones will buckle, their body will be like a poison, it will be so acidic. That they will begin cry by the heart, they will begin vomit, they will begin cry the heart, they will get high, high fever, and they will die. So now that we could raise this awareness, say, we can then day in other countries or other parts of this country, self whether they born there, they get HIV just because their mama don't get HIV. And how will they get HIV? Through blood. So if woman go born and no no say get AIDS or HIV AIDS, a bone picking, that picking they can't contact with that in mama in blood, the tendency they say it will develop the HIV. So now I make now that alone, if you get HIV, you know, have been a woman, then go try and treat you until the day when you get born, they're able to help you. You born that picking, the picking will bear no contact with your blood for make another the HIV. So we the tell the woman in back, we don't say the HIV in Boku. In Bokuna Salon, they just have some statistics with the past round where well, I if you pay attention to when they say that like, half of the population don't get HIV. But not so everything will be seen on social media who they believe. But we know that it is in the country. But help them at this country for HIV because we get a whole HIV uh, uh, directorate or uh, a place where people that they go and they get free medicine. That is not there for people that will get diabetes. But HIV help day day as long as you go, you get your medication, you go live long. Even some people that they don't take their medication so much that now they're not going to infect other persons. So now like, this is like, the thing where we want for raise awareness for today to so, the people that say HIV you go get and through sexual contact, but always treatment can help you for the condition where you get. We don't know if you cure. In future, but now in order to cure. But you, you viral levels or the, the virus where you get where they cause the AIDS, if you take your medicine, the virus can go low. And it's chronic, and you go get them for years or maybe until lifelong, until you die, you're not know, able to get rid of her. But that makes medicine, they will then go give you. If you take your medicine, you go live long. We're not going to say you go live like somebody, we're not going to know sick. But you will live long, you will be active. Even you will do mommy and daddy business once you protect yourself. So now that's not the two we want to talk about today. Then we don't talk about people that when they get the HIV, what thing they make them get the type, the, the, the diabetes, especially the bikini. I will repeat myself again say, if the kids suffer massive infection, impossible say, in B cells and then are the the thing where the cells where they produce insulin, they go able for destroy that infection. They will destroy the cells that within the pancreas. The pancreas will not produce insulin anymore. So that means say because of the massive infection, the between in B cells they don't destroy in, in cells that not produce um, insulin anymore. In pancreas not produce insulin anymore. They will get type one diabetes. Same one now. Type 2 diabetes, so now you are the one with the older people that they get, so you don't pass 40. But I can always say people that even then in their 30s, we can get this um, HIV, we can get this diabetes. So if you're not possible, then you're 30s, you don't get diabetes, you're in, in between. 
you don't have the type one stage, you know it's the type two stages. But still people and they will really catch along that, that age group thing. Now, if you get type, if you get that um, um HIV, sorry, if you don't suffer from HIV, medicine and they will then they give where you they drink. Where the medicine and they will make like you get type two diabetes. So imagine even the medicine for HIV free, but the one for diabetes is not free. If you will get AIDS, you go get type 1 diabetes, insulin not free. How you go manage this sick So this is a big, 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 big disease burden. Where they are with people then, where they are with people in this country, when a low income country, where people they live below one dollar a day. So now they could raise this awareness, let people then know if you get HIV AIDS, go ahead and test you for your diabetes status, let you know. When you know, you're able to take appropriate action. In fact, when you get HIV AIDS, your immune system, they don't. You're supposed to eat healthy, eat vitamins, so that your body will build up. Your immune system will come up a bit with the HIV AIDS not go and buggy too much, and the diabetes has not go and buggy too much. So on that note, I want to make we watch one small, uh, Few minutes, uh, seconds video, and then each one minute. Let me just look that video there where they tell we a bit about HIV, AIDS, and diabetes, who are they at risk. So we go ask the technical team, may they play with that video there. And not long, like what I say, let me just see what that person they say. Now, a professional, we want to tell we say people that we get HIV, AIDS. They get diabetes and waiting at that impact they on them. So I want to make we listen to that short video day. Then we continue from there. Thank you. New research suggests that people infected with HIV may be more likely to develop diabetes. In the study, the prevalence of diabetes was almost 4% higher among HIV-positive adults than the general population. Researchers examined survey responses of 8,610 HIV-positive participants in the medical monitoring project. They also analyzed data from about 5,600 people in the general public who took the annual National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. Of these people, nearly 4% had type 1 diabetes, about half had type 2, and 44% had an unspecified type of diabetes. People that will get HIV, they are at risk for develop um, diabetes type 1 and type 2. And the unspecified type, where they tell you say, what they tell when I say between the age of um, 32 to the 40, what would they say that you they get type 2? They say that in between age day, then self day. And they don't talk, say half of the people that we don't know this. Because we don't know the statistics of uh, of the HIV people that we already get diabetes, but I think where they happen, I think where they exist. So now this study thing where we want for telling people them, we don't say what is they don't pass, and we always to they talk about now this program where it comes to health, where they talk more about non communicable diseases, when are the cancers, the hypertension, the diabetes, the stroke. The, the, the cardiovascular disease, you know, the heart, the lung disease, the, the cancer, you know, the prostate, when a cervical, when a, 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 a breast, all the boku boku cancer, the leukemia, of the, blood, the cancer of the blood, throat cancer, all the cancer that they will now we can talk about. But once in a while, we will see they talk about the infectious diseases. Because we need for education people again about how this infection has spread. Because first thing, People them with a the boil needle. Now they will see to the world want to people there with a the boil the needle, with boil the needle, so that if we don't chew pussy with her, they take her and chew all the pussy. Any sick way that pussy get her in blood, now we'll go to the other pussy. But now, we know that if a boil needle is there, now new needle, everybody will you can do injection, you get your needle, they're not a share needle again. So that again, we have, we advise the healthcare professionals that if you short of needle, self do ya. Not use the same needle for two people there. Because if you do that, then any blood disease that person they get, 
or any sickness when I have the blood that person may get, the other person will get her. So do you have the brain? Because even the HIV will they talk about, now just unclean needle. And we will say unclean needle. Now needle where they don't already use for a person. When you go take her, now it will make you they get the 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 AIDS or the HIV way we it is start with. So we they pray and beg people that they don't ever use needle when they don't use for other person. The other one again, through my man that did business. So man that they go get the HIV AIDS, then they tell the people that where they get it. If they go do my man that did business with you, they not protect themselves, they are not use condom, we instead not free, the HIV people that where they are they give free. If you not put stuff out to the bar, you go to my man that did business with anybody, if you get them, you go you go you say go don't give that person there. So we they pray and we they beg to people that again, if you don't say you get anything, go let them test you. When they test you, they will give you medicine. You can't clean. So the people possibly they will say, Well, me don't get this infection or what we go do. Now go you they go and go do my man that did business with everybody with they. If you do that day, you go kill so many people. So with the bed, if anybody get down the label for medicine, they go let them test them, make it you not know, spread to other people there. Then we know say the world don't bad. People then they then they do things their way out of the ordinary. God make with all. He make woman, he make place for you as a woman who say you do my and daddy business. So man they left that side, they then they go on the other side, where not so they then make for do my and daddy business. And if you go now, you back say you say God don't say all the waste products are in your body now they they come out. If you go do my and daddy business that side they back, you know protect yourself. It's possible say you go get sickness from there, not only the HIV and AIDS itself. Other people and they back where they sex life different. People and they when they come be man and they want for do my and daddy business with. If now you come be man you want for do my and daddy business with. That man, God don't make any parts and I will go do my name that he business. Pass now in back passage, you say, now they the waste product, they come up. If you do it, now that day you they do, you get for protect yourself. Because if you don't protect yourself, you will get not only the HIV, AIDS, other infection and they back, where you go get. So now they could pay people there. So on that note, I will want for let the technical person see for me. If we don't get anybody, we don't can join me for let we welcome them na the show. Thank you. Okay. Um, I may tell you don't join, Kali don't join, uh, we don't have a few people we don't join, we want for welcome una, and we they beg una for let una make contribution, if we do they talk about make sense to una, or you know say you get something we go add to, so wait till they talk, you can join me. So on that note again, wait till they talk about today, na HIV, AIDS, and diabetes. We know say certain things and they way we know they talk about now we African society, especially where we day now Mama Salon. People that they don't get some infection them, whether or not they able for whether or not they able for talk about. But when we don't have this show, we want for tell people and say, shame not death and sickness. Because when you shame with sickness, bad things will happen to you if you shame you sick, then you shame. So when you see, not for shame. We don't say what's in our street it suck, but if you go to the medical people then they will be able to help you. So we don't talk say HIV AIDS, you they get them, where you they use or clean needle, the people that where they use drugs, if you choke yourself with one needle, you take the same needle, you the other person choke yourself, it will get the sick way you get. If you get HIV, you will get that. The other one again, if you they go do my man daddy business. With Boku Boku people that you know they protect yourself, you know they use condom, you go in, you go get this HIV AIDS. And what do they talk about today? We want to say the one them will get HIV AIDS, they be at risk for suffer from diabetes because already the immune system don't go dumb 
and not to that no more. The initiative will not go down no more. The medicine thing that will then take. Instead of make, then develop the type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes. So that that will be careful to talk about. So we go can watch um, one of the sponsors of them, when I then make, we show they go on and they support me. So after the sponsors then come, we will come back for talk. This important message here, so for the people that take care of themselves, not to forget the mommy and daddy business with everybody. You need to protect yourself because the secret day, now how will they take care of yourself? We could they get them, we will not take care of yourself back. How will they punish you? How will they do? We will not able to live a normal life. So we they listen to one of the sponsors there now. Then from there, we will continue the program. Thank you. Cotton Tree Pharmacy is your new trusted provider of pharmacy services in Sierra Leone. You can count on Cotton Tree Pharmacy for genuine quality brand name and generic medicines. Guaranteed refills for prescriptions issued by doctors in Sierra Leone or abroad. Door-to-door -door medication delivery service in Freetown and beyond. Free health education. Have you heard about our Diaspora Medicine Connect? With Cotton Tree Pharmacy's Diaspora Medicine Connect, anyone can pay for your prescription online. Bring your prescription to 17 Pademba Road. Collect an invoice. Send your invoice to your sponsor in the Diaspora. Your sponsor pays for your prescription online. We deliver your medication to you. For quality prescription and medications, visit Cotton Tree Pharmacy at 17 Pademba Road in Freetown. Have questions? Call our pharmacist on WhatsApp at 030-611-664 or visit our website at www.cottontreemedicalgroup.com. Come to Cotton Tree Pharmacy. We are ready to fill your next prescription. So, yeah, so, um, when I don't, yeah, you respond to them. What do they talk about this um, evening? Now about people them with the HIV AIDS with the contact diabetes. They don't talk say people them they will get diabetes and HIV at the same time. Patient then they will get pre-existing diabetes and then they contact HIV. What do they talk so people then they, they already get the diabetes, then they go get HIV. Then one and they their own treatment is different. So people that they can get the HIV, the medication they make. The blood sugar level just go abnormal. They want and they serve them day. And they serve them, they manage them differently. So when you get diabetes, then you get HIV, your treatment different because of what you get first before you get the other one. So patient that will get HIV certainly will get diabetes later on. They serve day. And because of the two sick them, all the sick them way bad the need for really take the treatment very seriously. Because if you're young, you treat them and say, you know, will mourn you too much because you're young, your body still young, your body go respond to treatment. But again, if you don't carry age, you can't get them too sick and they, the book you always say, diabetes and sickness of the nerves. And then when you get diabetes, you go get infection again. Now other trouble down the same way, you get infection, you get diabetes. All that be the thing we it will do to you. So now we could say the therapy is there for who that get diabetes first before you get the HIV, and who that get the HIV first before you get the diabetes. All they want to their young um, treatments they're different. So we really need to be careful how we they treat people then. and we they still want people then. If you get them sick here, so do ya now for try. Go to a medical professional, not go for letting the board emergency for you, they didn't come. Because some medicine and some sickness day, you really need the with my medicine. Not so country medicine or menu. So do you have the bill? On that note, I go off for let me listen to the second video. Um for me to see what in there say about this sick year. That man said my course away experience, it they teach people there about exercise so i want to listen to that video again and see what it is said to me advice
for make we go able for money then to sit here so together. Thank you. Well hello, well, hello everyone, it's me Daniel, Mr. No Excuses, and today I want to talk to you guys as a personal trainer. I don't want to be your friend today. I don't want you to see Daniel today. I want you to see Mr. No Excuses. Of course, the first of the year is coming up, and a lot of you guys' new year, new me resolutions are to get in the gym and be healthy. And one thing I want you to do is make sure that you really take it one day at a time and I want you to really truly stick with that goal in regards to getting yourself together becoming more healthier getting in shape even you want to just be vain and have a six-pack by summer hey that's what I want to do honestly but if it's in reference to being healthier if it's this situation where you absolutely need to be healthy you know make sure you stay committed at least until February 14th Valentine's Day one thing that I've known for years one thing that I'm aware of as being a personal trainer for years is that a lot of people will set a goal I'm gonna run every day I'm gonna do this every other day but they don't even last until Valentine's Day within their goal so this morning I was working with a client and we were having a conversation and her husband's a doctor and she shared with me there were three different occasions that her husband had to leave the house this morning and each occasion that he left the house he was going to the hospital to help a person with a heart attack and I was like, wow, that's amazing. You know, I would love to sit down with him and talk with him in regards to, you know, me, the preventer as a personal trainer and him, the fixer as a doctor. And, you know, as we progressed into the conversation and we were talking about, you know, him being a doctor and helping people with di uh, diabetes and heart disease and heart attacks and things of that nature, uh, we started talking about diabetes. And one thing she shared with me that really had a light bulb go off in my head. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. I mean, goodness gracious like I couldn't even believe what I was hearing but she was saying that her husband rather have AIDS versus diabetes and after we started going deeper into what diabetes does to your body I mean people losing limbs people going blind all kind of crazy things that's happening to you and you're living with diabetes this slow death of diabetes if both diseases were uncurable. I rather have AIDS versus diabetes as well. I agree. I mean, because honestly, there's medication for AIDS, and eventually one day you're going to die. Just like if you're healthy as an ox, one day you're going to die. But I rather die of AIDS versus diabetes in regards to losing my limbs or losing my sight or losing all kind of you know whatever may happen in reference to diabetes. Um, I came home today and I started doing a little bit of research online in regards to ways to prevent diabetes and 99.9% .9 of the things that you can do to prevent diabetes is what you put in your mouth. Um, the way you eat, um, how often you eat, alcohol consumption, a lot of those different things are the number one reasons for people having diabetes and you can prevent it. So if it's one of those situations to where you know you're looking at your life today and you're thinking that what's going on today and what you're going to be doing today is not going to make an impact later on down the road in life well check this out it absolutely will when you're about 40 50 years old there's a good chance that you might end up with diabetes it can be reversed um it just came out today that um rob kardashian has been diagnosed with diabetes and had a really big scare and it's you know really uh, challenging for him right now and he's going through something right now in, in reference to the bad decisions that he's made as far as the way he's been eating and the way he's been treating his body so you know I just really want you guys to think about it I really want you guys to think about it for one minute just take one minute and just pause and think about it and say you know what I really want to make a change in my life and I'm gonna make that start with the changing in my life with the way I eat and how I eat and make better decisions on my eating. I've been flirting around with my daughter is a vegan and my wife is a vegetarian. And I've been flirting with, you know, 2016 becoming a vegetarian and just, you know, cold turkey and documenting my, uh, my, my journey in regards to being a vegetarian. But I don't know, 100% sure if I want to do that. I want to make realistic goals, but I definitely want to do better in reference to becoming a better me and a healthier me 
and making sure that I do not, uh, I can do everything I can to prevent any illnesses and sicknesses that I don't have to be subjected to. So you should do the same. Hopefully you got something from this video and I'll talk to you whenever I talk to you. Peace out. very much for watching that video all the mommy they try to say is people are afraid the diabetes more some people are afraid the diabetes more some are afraid the hiv more but the two if you get them you need for no say not two uh, very uh, serious conditions you get so what did they happen between the hiv aids and the diabetes not to say that the people that with their HIV, with their diabetes, that your body not produce insulin, especially the two, the type two diabetes. What things start to show is the people that with their that with their HIV and their diabetes, the body they produce insulin, but the insulin, the body they reject the insulin in order to work with them. That are the insulin resistance. The body they produce insulin, the weight loss back HIV people that go then go lose weight. But that not means saying that the diabetes they made them lose weight, not just the sick, where the VR load very high in them. But what you would they try for say, yeah, is the insulin cell for your body they produce for make it work for you. Let you not get the diabetes. The body not going to for use them. And most people that way they associate with the HIV AIDS and diabetes, now the one that way they get type two, where their body will resist the insulin where it is produced just because then they suffer from HIV or AIDS. So HIV AIDS is basically bad, although not a disease way, it's transmissible to if you use the thing you do, if you get unprotected sex from somebody when you get them, you go you go better, you na somebody when a homosexual or you not gay, you they practice that way they Tendency, they say you will get up if you let it protect, um, uh, protect yourself. So now that that you did it, try for tell me. So great difference day. Just because all they talk, just like all they talk about mental health. Mental health patient there. We not really associate them with diabetes at all. But if we look at the medication we then they take. Mental health medication then. So they will give patient an appetite for it. The colonoscopy. When they drink daily, they get so much appetite for it. And then they pick what they eat. Because if you're not able for even you know what they happen to you, said, you just they eat everything. Then they put some weight, then go they go suffer from metabolic syndrome, where the middle, big all their body, they they got all the organs in their body, all don't full up with fat. If that they happen, then the insulin weight body they produce either in not do. It's not sufficient again for going to cells and for the energy, then your body they resist the insulin, you're not able for work with her. Either the insulin too small, or your body they resist her, and able for work with her, or you don't develop metabolic syndrome where they make you but all you 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 organs and facts don't go all around your body where the insulin not able for reach you start in reach. So on that note, we go out for look back if we don't get with family and with people that with you always join me. If they don't join me and if they get any contribution, let we talk to them. So we don't get um Kali Namui Nina, Nima Conte don't join, Hashim Williams don't join. So um Nina say get a two pack instead. I don't know what it in me, I don't know if you go um lay emphasis on that what in me. So we welcome contributions. We welcome contributions. I don't say today we don't get loads of people yet, but lots of people that will go back and watch them because we don't use we health show. But just because world diabetes uh, world health they don't pass, world diabetes they don't pass. We want to talk about world um, AIDS they we don't pass, and there's a strong connection between that one infectious disease day to other. Disease that we not infectious disease, then like diabetes. People that they with the HIV AIDS and still suffer from um, heart disease, then they suffer from diabetes, then they suffer from um, 
cardiovascular disease, all kind of disease where you get HIV AIDS, you you prone for suffer from them because your body, your immune system low. If you come on cold, if somebody doesn't HIV AIDS, they just come on cold. They call go more around. So that we could raise this awareness, say when you get HIV AIDS, you prone or you are at risk for suffer from all the other non uh, communicable disease we go make the single more than you more. So on that note, let me could raise this awareness and talk to people then about this. So somebody they um Abu Bakar Jalo they say greetings to friends and family of VOS all around the globe. Hello Abu Bakar Jalo greetings to you too. We all say when they enjoy the show. So my this we talk about today HIV AIDS World AIDS Day don't pass in a salon. We know say there be they begin lots of um, awareness again. They do lots of screenings. They talk to people then for come out of the houses then for come do their test for men and know what in and status for men and go able for take medication because salon they can begin say. HIV medication they are for free that they give people them. And now if you take your medicine religiously, you they take a like how you pray, you go able for taculam and not go more than you too much. You your virus level not go high. Like I said earlier also, people then they take this medicine so much that they don't even affect us anymore. But see you there for the you got for me you able for do what you they do. So on that note, I go work for me to get me other sponsors then, letting them can do their own talk, and then we will take up from there. Still continue for talk about if you get HIV and you get diabetes, what you go do, and what is the cause that they will not talk say. Now your body self self will get the HIV, you get diabetes. Now when the body they resist the insulin when you they use, in order to tolerate the insulin you they use just because you get this HIV AIDS. And then they will make the sick man go more like you. So what do they do? When we get HIV, we forgo see we healthcare professionals then every time for many advice we for letting other sick care where we get no more like we. So we we'll listen to the other sponsor. You can be my Have you been looking for a place to get quality education but don't know how or where? Canadian College of Modern Technology, situated at 1 Silicon Hills, Mile 91, opposite former Camp Charlie, is the right place for you. Canadian College of Modern Technology, an athlete of Jalai University, is a fully accredited college with a tertiary education commission, TEC, and a national commission for technical, vocation, other academic awards, NCTVA. We provide world-class tertiary education in computer science, business administration, mass communication, business information technology, Microsoft server administration, networking, database administration, building and construction, and other professional courses. Apart from its conducive environment, which makes it suitable for learning, Canadian College of Modern Technology is proud of its experienced local and international staffs. Come and experience a transformational learning environment, fully equipped with CCTV cameras, a world-class electronic library, with the latest iMac computers for collaborative learning and research, and access to high-speed internet service throughout the campus. And guess what? Canadian College of Modern Technology is the first college in Sierra Leone to offer the first educational purpose-only television and radio station for its mass communication students. Come and be part of this historic experience. We have reserved a space for you. You want to know more? CCMC provides 24 hours electricity from a solar harvest power supply system with a backup generator. These highly secure campus also have a canteen, student hostels with clean pipe bond water. Canadian College offers many more amenities for our students to help make learning a good experience. For more information, contact us on these numbers 079-630-407 or 099-140-208. If you want to succeed, Canadian College will exceed your expectations. Canadian College of Modern Technology, a place where career begins. Yeah, we know. 
Welcome, welcome. We did a talk today about HIV. Just show where the HIV patients and they take where they make them get risk for suffer diabetes. Not so all medication way with people that they take with get HIV AIDS, they give you diabetes. But we get one medication where they call Darunevia and the Retonevia. They say that two medication then they whether they when you they take away your HIV AIDS, what did they do if they suppress the insulin production of your body? We know say when you get HIV immune system, they go down. But the interaction of the medication then they make and then two particular medicines and then are the most common antiretroviral medication they will be with patients. Then. So now that's we they talk to people then about today for letting them know say that drugs and they way now the particular common one then what will they give with patients then it will make them get this uh, diabetes more type two because type one diabetes between them unless they suffer this very bad infection from the people that and now all over the world the uh, medical team they're very good for letting able for help that baby day say in mama born um, in a good sick so the medication they will name like that too and a big 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 tablet them where we will deal with patients them when they make and they suppress the insulin production, it will make them get a metabolic syndrome. We will make the insulin whether they produce either the body refuse re resist them or it not do for the it do for the body. So today they talk about HIV AIDS and diabetes. Diabetes and sickness of the nerves, it will damage your nerves, it will make beaucoup, beaucoup things happen to you, lower lip amputation, it will make you get gangrene, whether gangrene will lead to amputation, blindness, impotence in men, it will make you get kidney disease. So all we body functions then, all we organs then are things the way they work in relation with themselves. So when you get HIV is when our immune system don't really go down. That is, it makes say uh, other sicknesses that they will come to you. Because if your body never forfeit the sick way they come to you, your body not you not get anything where they affect the sick way they come to you. Even common cold, go and buggy bad bad one. I remember we been know somebody with the um, HIV AIDS. If you see rain dark, that man will not come out. Red drizzle, that man in the coma. So, where if you don't get, you don't know now, say this is I get her, I get for live with her. If you see, don't have the test to be with a laugh. It's all like, remember where I can run, where I can run, where I can run, and now I can run, beat me. It's a become a doctor, be don't tell me, say, if they stop me, that come on cold, self, what I will get. That cold, they will mourn me because me, if me, system, they don't. I don't get anything on my body. We go first that cold day. I will end up getting pneumonia. I will die. He said, I'm going to see when that can only come out. Or if I then ask myself, when the hika had a run gun and it for them, they not beat myself. So, all them things, and it will be put in for no. And we want to tell with people that say, if you they go around, they do my mind that the business where you not get that kind of protection there, it will cause you some trouble. If you're not married yet, so you're married though, you are for the play away games and protect yourself. Because you don't know who that you go with. You don't know who that person is that they go with. So as well as they just pass, like I say, we know that the whole world they raise loads of awareness for this sick year. If you take drugs, use the needle for yourself. Not share needle with person. We get Boku Baku sick year where they are people there. We're not to just this uh, uh, HIV AIDS. We get hepatitis in the past, in the fair the cage, and then self are the same thing. If you they use me, the way not clean, you they use, do my man that the business, you know, they protect yourself, even kiss, they go and bug you. So now that makes it they raise the awareness. We want for many people they know how they for take care of themselves for this sick year, so for make they're not spread them. And if you get to take your medicine 
for making no more than you. Because what you know they talk to people that for letting not get this sick because they say prevention is better than cure. If you get HIV AIDS and see whether they mend, you will take my medicine, say it will control them for you, so tell you the sick not go more than you, but you know they well. So we need for take care of yourself for let the sick not only. And when you get HIV AIDS, not only diabetes, you go get so that you're not communicate with disease. But who about all that sick anyway you go get? All because the medicine way they take could cause lots of problems. They probably they say this now. We mental health patient, eh? people that will they say they don't suffer mental health. So medicine and they will they give them, where they make them eat more, where they give their appetite. So they back where they give them. They will give them all other problems the way. Now, Salo, we don't know what family. So they talk to the people then. If you get any of them sick then they take care of yourself. Protect yourself from the infectious disease then they. Because when you get out, you get the risk for develop all the other sickness. And if you get all the other sickness, males in business na one. Chop business na one. If you get HIV AIDS, you're supposed to get a good chop na your body. But if you're able for afford that good chop, I don't see how you're able for survive. You're not gonna take them big big tablets and they where you 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 not get good chop na your body. First, and the medicine will be the good people that will be getting HIV AIDS. That means they will be the take the medicine. When I give that medicine, they, they go to the toilet, they vomit, they go to the toilet, they go vomit. Now, the people that are not to take them, but now they don't modify that medicine. Therefore, we people them, you take them, you know, they unbug you. The side effect not bad, like how the side effect in day, then 10 in day. So, if they don't diagnose you with that sick in day, do ya, especially HIV, the medicine in the day. You're gonna go give. You're not gonna well, but you go better, you go live. You're not gonna kill you again. The only way you're not taking medicine, now they kill you. So, on that note, I don't know if we don't know new people that we don't know, we go out for a round up from there and see um, what we'll go do again next week. So, let me check if we don't get no more people that we come. Yeah, we don't see, um, we get some. Um, Somebody will not join me. It's excellent. It is well known that certain medications can increase the risk of developing diabetes. Thank you for the information. Thank you, Charlotte. Yeah, that's what we're trying to tell our people. Always Google each drug you buy to know effects and side effects to know if it's go with other drugs or not good for you. That's very true. If you go buy medication over the counter, if you go buy medication over the counter, always read about the medication. Even if you don't go Google the medication, what do they do? There's a leaflet inside any medication box. What are the real medication? It will tell you what are the side effects of that medication you are going to take. It will tell you if you take this medication, you have a turn, you go vomit, your body go warm, you not go sleep, your body go crash. So for any sequel you get, you're supposed to know what thing are the good thing will happen to you if you get the medication, and what thing are the bad thing will happen to you when you take the medication. So now that we see that Charlotte they talk. But who may in the day, people that keep left for go buy medication just over the counter, not do that day. Try and buy the medication self self where they mark for you and know what are the effects. I'm able to read that commentary Charlotte Gillard. He said, you already have a high risk of diabetes if you are overweight when you contact the disease. Diet is so important. Then the other person said, artificial effects from mental health drugs. Yeah. So now this has been the talk. Where you, where you get high risk of diabetes, now because you get body, although not so everybody will get body, get diabetes. Then that person that they say artificial side effects for their mental health people. Then. The mercy what they give with mental health patients, then. And they make that they get lots of uh, um, side effects. Then they put on weight, they're not they plan with it, then they eat, they're not even care, they're not they sit down and reason. So the doctors they need or the nurses they need for talk to them people and they about effects and side effects of the medication the way then they way then they take. Now that they make the medic the thing no go more than them. But just like every doctor, everywhere with medical facilities, they 
You know, they really see somebody where you go see that it tells you say these are the medication. Now this thing will do to you, or now that thing will do to you. So now you therefore go out there and read. Let you learn about the sequel you get so you be able for controller. Don't go listen to post and say, oh, that's what this post say they happen. So I hear that post they will not different. How you God make you not to say make that post in day. When I can be trained and when I see different. So don't go take this post in mind. You think I can work for you the same way. No, you need for no waiting that the effects will go have on you. If you go menu or the side effects, if they make you more problem until you get used to it. Because Boko Mayak in the way you just take up. If they deal with you first properly, where you go, you know, not even want to touch her again. But as you use to your body, it will begin for you will begin adjust so you know more than you get too much. So now that I so I just want me we look because we don't already done the program. Make we look if we get more comments and for make we go see what they interact with you. Matilda, don't join me. Welcome, Matilda. You always there with me. We tell you thank you for joining me. Diet so important in everything where we they do. Diet very important. Diet very important. You get HIV AIDS, you need good diet. You get diabetes, you get good diet. You get hypertension, you get you need for the good diet. Any secret only, you need good diet for many secret money. Now that's what they talk about today. The link between HIV, AIDS, and diabetes. And final say, but who people that way get, especially type 2 diabetes, and, and HIV, AIDS get type 2 diabetes. What thing do this they happen? The medicine when they do the way they call antiretrovirus, two of them they way, and then they cause this, then they suppress the immune system, the, 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 the insulin producing cells them, either they not produce better or when they produce the insulin, the body they reject them because of their medication. They have. The one other, the renevia and then the retinavia. Now the structural um, um, HIV medicine and then they will make people that they get diabetes so then they take them. So we need for education. People that will get HIV AIDS, when they take that medication, they let them always Go for checkup, let them always know, say, and get for it's healthy. Because if you body they produce your insulin, then you body not they use that, if they reject that, then you just they, they eat carbohydrates, carbohydrates, you know, they eat proper diet, the diabetes go set in, and it go more like you too much. So on that note, I think, say, we go close for today. We know that we, people that will be the call or where, they come and be very active, but we don't say next week back, we will come back with more topics that were interesting. This one we do have for them, we just commemorate because we're in a health show where they talk to people about any health issue we they get. So, what you have for left with you people that is any sequel you get, whether not infection, whether not to infectious disease, go hospital. Take your medication, eat properly, eat healthy, hydrate your body with two liters of water or more a day, exercise, and make sure say you clean and your environment clean. If you take care of yourself with cleanliness, you take care of the disease where you get, they not come on at you. Go hospital before you go to anybody for make native medicine for you. Where well, I don't say they work, but some medicine and day, you subsequently you need for go hospital first before you will do anything. So today we talk about HIV AIDS and diabetes. If you don't say you get HIV AIDS, go do your diabetes screening. If you don't say they take HIV medication, go do your diabetes screening. And we will for advise you on what you need for do for medicine no more than you. So on that note, I will say tata. So we people put them today. I don't know if anybody they on again. But if nobody not there, we go on close at this point, and we hope for soon all next week again. And may we continue with the health show for make VOS. Reach out to the people in our salon 
or teach them about the health conditions where they suffer from, for educate them and for make them know about the disease where they get so that they know more than them. This this is not Dr. Haisi Bull with the Durham, North Carolina with another edition of True Say Talk. This True Say Talk Me, they can present to you a gift of good health from Cotton Tree Pharmacy to the people of Sierra Leone and also how we with the overseas who help with people and forget good, good medicine will go help them. Cotton Tree Pharmacy don't come for solving problems, for help with people and with well body, and for help them with medicine and the way they need, we go change their life. The government self not able to do it in Cotton Tree Pharmacy, they do. We were the overseas, many, many times them, we don't get a four o'clock morning call. We, when I call, they come, they say, she is sick, your brother sick, your pekin sick, your mama sick, your papa sick. They begin ask you for money for buy medicine with the same money, fitty fata, because we, they, we are so afraid that we fumble and we die. But, Cotton Tree Pharmacy don't come out with a way way with people that will get through two medications. And we say we will pay for the medication the way they will get on time, we will help them. Cotton Tree Pharmacy, day 17, Pademba Road, na free tongue. And then get a website we will help with information. If you want to call in a free tongue, the number na 232 and the website that www.cottingtreemedicalgroup.com then get all kind of prescription medicine where you go want and then get all the well body medicine well and they can take you through the website so you were overseas england germany australia and all about the world even other countries in africa you will be able to buy medicine for your family this now the website they work. This is the website for Cotton Tree Pharmacy. The address na 17 Pademba Road, Freetown, Sierra Leone. The telephone number na Freetown na 232 306 